Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings, and today we've got something special that's going to revolutionize your burger game. It's called a burger press. If you're tired of unevenly shaped burgers that don't cook evenly or have burger patties that finish at different times, or just want to impress your friends at the next barbecue, this gadget is definitely for you. First off, let's check out the box. Full transparency, I've used this burger press many times before, but store it in the original box. And what we have is a very basic box that shows you the product and what is inside. When we open the box, we can clearly see that the burger press is made out of black durable plastic. And when we take everything out of the box, you'll notice that we have a mold for sliders, a mold for regular sized burgers, a tool that allows you to press the burgers, along with a tool to make it in debt into the patty so that we can make stuffed burgers. Also in the box are 100 parchment paper circles that you put within the burger press to avoid the meat from sticking to the burger press. Now let's take a look at how to use the burger press and make uniform patties. Just place the ground meat inside, give it a gentle press, and voila! Perfectly shaped uniform patties every time. It's like having your own personal chef. Now if you want to make a burger that is a stuffed burger, all you have to do is press down on the burger so that it's uniform. Take the first adapter off or the first tool off. That will expose the tool that does the indentation on the burger. Then you go ahead and press the indentation tool into the burger, creating a nice little pocket that you can stuff. Now let's talk about efficiency. Using the burger press versus the traditional hand patty method, you can see the time and the effort saved. Plus the uniform thickness ensures even cooking, so no more overcooked edges or undercooked centers. And here's just a little bit more of a demonstration of how this burger press works. Today I'm, I'm making a turkey burger that is stuffed with mozzarella cheese and marinara sauce. So again, I will press the burger down. I will then use the indentation tool. I will then add my filling to the inside of the burger and then put a lid on top of the burger. So at the end of the day, is the burger press worth it? In my opinion, absolutely. The small investment that pays off big in the long run gives you perfect burgers every time. So if you're ready to take your burger game to the next level, Check out the link in the comments and get your hands on this burger press. If you like content like this, be sure to like and subscribe, because that's the best way to support the channel. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.